from Scenic Roots Garden Center and we are entering our summer months, the heat, the drier conditions possibly. Um, now is the time for you to take extra care of your window boxes and your hanging baskets. And I want to teach you two different methods on how to cut back your hanging basket. When you cut back a hanging basket, it's very beneficial for them because it lifts them up and it puts more energy into producing a healthier plant and producing more flowers. So when your hanging baskets start to get a little ratty and long, you know what they say, long in the legs, um, this is how you want to cut them back. We have two methods. One I call the bowl method, if you all remember those haircuts in the 80s where your mom would just go across your whole head and it was all one length. I don't like this, but this is a really good method. And then the other one is what I call the feathering method where you go in and you pick and choose certain branches kind of like layering in a haircut. So basically what you do with a hanging basket like this is you start about mid-pot when you're cutting and just go in and you cut every single branch all the way across. That's the bowl cut, where you're just lifting up underneath, and then randomly, if it's something is wicked leggy up on the top, or something really on the side, I'll just cut a little bit on the sides, and then that's the bowl cut. The other method is what I call layering, or the feathering method. This is the one where I go in, and I pick and choose, but I want to thin out my hanging basket. I also want to alleviate some of the stress from underneath. So I lift up my basket and I'll go underneath and randomly pick some of the longer stems just to give it some lift and to take some of the weight off from underneath. And then I will do the same for the top. I'm just going to randomly go in take off some of the longer pieces, some of the heavier pieces, right into the middle. And this is what I call, I'm going to call this thinning out. So both methods, whichever one you decide, I like to use this one because I feel it's less aggressive and I'm still keeping some kind of natural shape to my hanging basket instead of doing a straight around bowl cut or what we call it. So this is another way to thin out your hanging baskets. There you go. Now, another thing about hanging baskets and annuals and containers, whether you have window boxes, big urns, hanging baskets like this, it's very important now to start a feeding process. So whether you use Something like Neptune's Harvest is an all-natural fish fertilizer. This is one tablespoon per gallon of water. I do this every two weeks for all my containers and window baskets. And then if you use miracle Grow, miracle Grow is something that you wanna use like every third watering or they recommend once a week. So that is a higher feeding percentage than the Neptune's Harvest because it's natural and it doesn't wash out of your planter as much. And the other common thing is miswatering. So hanging baskets probably need watering every day. What you can do is you go up underneath your hanging basket and lift it up. If it feels light, water it. The shade hangers probably need less water as the sun hanger because they dry out faster. So maybe every two days you're watering your shade hanger, watering your sun hangers every day. But you wanna make sure that you soak the water all the way through so it comes out the bottom of your pot give it a little lift and make sure it's heavy. Good luck. Come and contact us if you have any questions. We're here. Get knowing, get growing.